The Attleboro Police Department has welcomed a number of new additions to the force. Last spring, the department opened its doors to those seeking to participate in Attleboro's auxiliary police force. The auxiliary officers help in areas of traffic control, security patrol, and assist in times of emergency. The participants recently completed a 10-month training course and a graduation ceremony was held for those who completed the program. AACS was at the event and we spoke with Captain Barry Brewer about the graduates. Hello, I'm uh, Captain Barry Brewer from the Attleboro Police Department. Uh, today, um, the auxiliaries had a graduation for their four new recruits and one promotion um, of Earl Bostick. Um, the ceremony um, is a culmination of 100 hours of uh, training with the Attleboro Police Department and 242 hours by the SPI uh, training, which is in uh, Foxborough. Officer Kelly Hines from the Attleboro Auxiliary Police Unit. I've just recently graduated from the Auxiliary Department. Tonight was my official swearing in. It's been quite the experience of over 300 hours of duly dedicated hard work and a lot of lack of sleep, but I did it, along with my other cohorts. For anybody, I would say this is quite the experience and a fun time. The training from the SSPI uh, provides for uh, a certificate in reserve officers, and uh, these courses for both Attleboro as well as the uh, state program encompasses uh, first aid, uh, CPR, AED, uh, um, constitutional law, domestic law, and uh, officer survival as well as firearms. As for the pepper spray, that is quite the experience. It is, I don't wish that upon anybody. I will put that out there. We had to learn all of the chapters and sections of the Massachusetts Code. That was very dedicating and very hard to learn, especially being tested on it. There's so many, so much stuff to learn, and there is enough time to do it. You just have to have dedication to do it. A lot of people wonder what the auxiliary unit does, and they supplement the police force, uh, the regular force, for such events as parades, special weather events, and uh, on regular patrols. Um, this is a uh, unit that volunteers their services and provides, with these services, events are able to occur that might not regularly um, be able to uh, for, cost, for cost reasons. Um, you know, in the auxiliary unit is, is a uh, long tradition of over 40 years. I've always wanted to serve my community or country. Unfortunately, I cannot serve my country, so I decided to serve my community in the best way that I knew how, and Attleboro was the place to go. Many officers have started their police career uh, which is very similar to the regular academy which one has to complete to become a regular officer. You know, it's a great place to start and I'm very proud of the, the, the graduates today and the recent promotion. For me there was a great outturn. I had my family, my close family, my mother, my father, my sister, my brother-in-law and my two nieces. I chose to have my mother pin my badge on for a very, I believe, honest reason. She's the one that brought me into this world. She deserves to see every dedication and very much hard work that I put into this. And if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. Like anything, it's a proud accomplishment uh, for these folks. A lot of time is invested in it, and um, you know, it's just a, a you know a wonderful experience to be a part of. There is an announcement approximately once a year where one can sign up for the academy. Particular questions can be directed to Gary Plant and that's part of the auxiliary website, uh, Attleboro Police Auxiliary website. If you're thinking about joining, just do it.